if only they listened to the Mets pod for the last two years. I mean, this this time two years ago, we were telling them, don't trade for DHs. Let Mark Vientos well, get Buck a shot. Buck would never play him. Yeah, and we yeah. knew that from the yeah. – and I know there's been people that are like, oh, you didn't like Buck. Well, look now at Mendoza. There were so many issues there that drove us insane, and I will absolutely put Buck at the forefront of that. He refused to play this guy. His confidence was shot. And now you look what happens when you actually give a guy a chance to play and boost his confidence a little bit. It's a miracle. Yeah, Vientos had no opportunity. Now he has opportunity, and he's running with it. And when we were down in Port St. Lucie, at that time, J.D. Martinez wasn't a Met. The idea was Brett Beatty was the third baseman. Mark Vientos was the DH. And we were just hanging out on the dugout, and Vientos you know, said hi, asked if he's ready for the opportunity, and biggest smile on his face. He's like, I've been yeah. waiting for this. So he's been waiting for this opportunity to show what he has. And look, this is a guy that has always hit at every level. And that doesn't always translate to the major leagues. And, you know, a month from now, we might be like, oh, there's the Mark Vientos that struggled at the big league level. But in the early going, he's working better counts. Like you said, OBP over 500 against left-handed pitching. And he hits the crap out of the ball, for lack of a better term. When he hits it, he hits it. And um, when he hit the home run against Washington, he was like, I didn't know it was out until I saw the exit velocity. So this is also a guy that's in tune with that stuff. He hit it, saw the exit velocity. And he's just like, oh, okay, that's going to go out then. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an exciting development 